Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I want to get you some comments about America. You know, right today, and you know, I'm pretty focused on negative things in terms of the stock market strategies and buying gold and silver and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and I, you know, I believe some things about oil going up dramatically in price because of facts like the Saudis and most people can't replace what's called sweet crude, which is what we use in the United States. Um, and I'm also concerned about China and, you know, falling apart, the big lie, all that kind of stuff. Office 666, you know, uh, terrorizing the people down there and preventing any uh, exposure of the deep problems they have within their country of corruption and, uh, and totalitarianism. But what I believe is that America is in a great place. We're not in a fun place, but there's no danger of our country falling apart. Uh, there, our country is doing fine. A lot of people are out of work, and you can bet your bottom dollar that the Obama administration is going to make a big job stimulus package over the winter, and they're going to make it again until it passes. I'm also interested to see that Obama has already got the Republicans in a box, which will cost them the presidential election. They're prepared to reduce entitlement spending for senior citizens who vote regularly and as a way of avoiding increasing taxes on the rich and super rich. Uh, and this strategy is not wise. Part of the reason you're seeing the strategy reflecting that the strategy is not wise is Mitt Romney's uh, contributions are down about 20, 22 percent off what they were the last time he ran for office. But America is a land of rule of law. People are safe when they walk around the streets. Um, people are able to proceed with whatever choices they want to make in life. There's no uh, state telling them that they can do this job and they can't do that job. And so I think America's future is quite bright and much brighter than any of our allies or enemies. And it's really our economic willpower that has been the force moving forward. Clearly, we're going to be out of Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, clearly, we're going to focus much more of our efforts on the so-called war on terror. But more importantly, we're going to keep building our opportunities here in the United States. You know, quite frankly, why is it that uh, people who are would-be terrorists end up in the United States? Because they can fart around until laws are uh, observed so they can be busted. In other countries, they just be dragged off to secret prisons and never heard of again. So America is the land of the free and the home of the brave. Over this day and over this week, if you're a parent like I am, give some thoughts to those men and women who are serving overseas in harm's way at this moment and see how really disturbed you are about the decline in your drug stocks this week. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great weekend.